What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and smash like now on the video because you know the comment section is probably going to be um, super polite and super non-divisive. Let me start off this topic by saying one, it is my position and I don't consider myself a religious man. I know I have many religious followers and I support you in that. Uh, but just so you know where I am as a content creator and a man. Uh, I live my life strongly when, uh, led by a, a thirst, a, a passion for personal liberty, um, for a man or a woman to be able to do as they please in as many scenarios as humanly possible. I'm also not necessarily a religious man. I know many of my viewers are religious, and I support you greatly in that. There is a saying, of course, that gets attributed to the Bible uh, and that is, of course, judge not lest ye be judged. And that's where I land on this position. Uh, I would never support um, procedures being outlawed, but I would never support, I would never want that for my child. Uh, I don't see myself in a scenario where I would ever choose that. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Um, I hope that makes sense. So when people ask you, are you pro-choice? Are you pro-life? I'm me. I'm pro-liberty. Uh, if you ultimately the woman is the one and the man, if they know, even that's one thing I don't like. Um, they're the ones that are going to have to live with the decision, not me. So who am I to judge them? Um, I know what my heart says about it, but that's for me and myself only not to project on others. But uh, what I think is funny about this is the way the media is celebrating it. So there's a new movie called Unpregnant. It's put out by HBO. It's a, it's a buddy comedy about um, terminating a pregnancy. <laughs> oh, oh, so funny. Uh, and you get this article by The Cut literally called, Hooray, an abortion buddy comedy. Oh, I know who hasn't been waiting for this. Um, the trailer, obviously, uh, I tried to react to it, but uh, HBO is pretty, pretty tight on uh, allowing it. You're welcome to watch it, obviously, if you want to pause this video. It's, it's, it's essentially exactly what you would expect. Uh, it's like um, book smart. Uh, and the idea is this young girl, she's in high school. Uh, she's pregnant and she wants to terminate. Uh, she hides it from her boyfriend, which I hate um hides it from her fa her parents i care less about that um and obviously there's a lot of stigma attached with this type of procedure okay the movie of course is really about the journey and the two friends uh reconnecting but you know the comments are are interesting you have 1.7 thousand upvotes 1.4 thousand down it's almost like a you know and i again i don't if you're pro-life, then that's cool. I support you. Um, I just don't support projecting my own opinions on other people uh, or my own what I think is right or wrong in terms of this particular topic. Um, you could see I know that this is a very divisive issue. I'm trying to be accepting of, of all sides here. Um, you could see there's something so unsettling about making this funny. I agree with that. You know, uh, I, I don't think that, you know, I can understand why people would see this as, you know, it's propaganda, right? Written and directed by Rachel Lee Goldberg. Second top comment. Third, trash propaganda. How stupid do you think we are? Honestly, this is a weapon against white people and is intended as nothing else. I mean... You know, it, it's, it's, why do I get the feeling she'll go all the way out there and she changes her mind or something extra crazy like she wasn't really pregnant and their test was false? That's probably what'll happen. Um, it's kind of disturbing how much they downplay the serious issue. Um, yeah, the, the comments are pretty, pretty, uh, far right, I would say. Um, you know, I'm just sure it's just a coincidence that both she and her boyfriend are white. This is a, you know, it's not being well received. Um, to me, it's it's a movie that I can easily not watch, 
But I, I, you know, I don't think I write this article. You know, hooray, hooray! The world's been waiting for this. Normalize uh, making poor decisions and uh, and then just you know ending a life because ha <laughs> ha funny. Um, you know, I think that most reasonable people could understand that there are situations where this needs to be done. Um, whether it's, you know, protecting your own well-being or if it was, you know, against your will, we should say. Um, but that's not really what these movies are about. In an interminably long list of bummer, uh, <laughs> bummer abortion movies. God, what a bummer. With some great expectations like obvious child, blah, blah, blah. It's still not that often that ending a pregnancy is anything other than the dark center of an upsetting storyline. I mean, it is, though. I mean, again, I'm not judging anybody, but I can't imagine people, th you know, there is a real type of person out there that uses this procedure as a form of birth control. Like, and that I don't like. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. Uh, look, I was... <laughs> I was very active in high school. I've just put it that way. But, um, you know, you don't see a lot of mainstream support for, you know, maybe abstaining until you're in a position to raise that child. I know it's not realistic, and that's why these type of things are um, out there. But, you know, I wish I, I would see writers so happy to see a positive, funny abs abstinence movie or something like that, you know. I don't think that would exist, though. <laughs> Maybe it probably does. Needless to say, I am thrilled about HBO Max's Unpregnant, which is one part road movie, one part buddy comedy, where the protagonist needs to terminate her pregnancy. But the fact of the broader story arc and her character are just one. Is that just, that's just one thing. The film is directed by Rachel Lee Goldenberg uh, and adapted from Ted Kaplan. Uh, and Jenny Hendrix's novel of the same name. It stars Haley Lou Richardson as Veronica, a straight high school senior who is all set to pursue her Ivy League dreams until she gets pregnant. I mean, look, I mean, maybe if you look, I don't know why. I mean, OK, I don't consider myself very conservative, but on this issue, as I've gotten older, you know, I get a little more like kids need to just, you know, if you got a bright, you know, if you got this type of thing where you got an Ivy League education, maybe just keep it in your pants. I, I mean, I, I know that's not realistic, but I, it's way easier to say, I suppose, than it is to be done. Um, so uh, Veronica must turn to Bailey, uh, her grungy ex-best friend, to drive her to the closest clinic, which is a thousand miles away. The reason she's driving a thousand miles is because she needs to find a clinic that will do it anonymously, is from what I understand uh, from the trailer. Of course, for many women, doing this is not only an issue of access and bureaucratic pain in the butt, but a complicated emotional and physical decision. But on screen, uh, terminations have not only been portrayed gloomily, but unrealistically. In a census of fictional TV and film that looked at representation of termination on screen in the last 100 years, Gretchen Sisson, a professor of University of California, San Francisco, found that they were in, there were inaccuracies and misrepresentation of the entire process. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, for example, an alarming 9% of the depiction showed women dying directly as a result of the procedure, yet these things are actually incredibly safe. The fatality rate in the U.S., most data was almost 0%. Well, in the U.S., sure. Um, you know, this is one of the things I could say, Hey, if you don't like it, don't watch it. I feel weird. It feels slimy celebrating it and, and thinking like, Hey, we're going to package it up as a humorous kind of thing because you know, that's what we want to do. You, know, you can see bonding into comics. HBO released its first trailer for the, uh, termination road trip movie based on the novel by the same name, not wanting to tell her boyfriend or her Catholic parents about her pregnancy, Veronica decides to have an abortion and scrambles to find someone who can help her receive the procedure. The two fast friends take a grand romping road trip, trying to find a facility that will perform the procedure all while sharing laughs and bonding. However, this is no laughing matter in the trailer. It appears the sole reason Veronica wants to terminate is, uh, is that the conception was a mistake. 
Veronica also appears to leap immediately to terminating uh, rather than explore other options such as adoption or delivering the baby and becoming a mother. The novel's author, Jenny Hendricks, who also wrote the screenplay for the film, discusses the book in an interview with Refinery29 where she was asked if she intended to make a statement about reproductive rights. And she said, heck yes. So the idea that this is just a movie is incorrect. The author themselves want it to be. Uh, not only do we want to highlight how difficult access is, especially for minors, we wanted the central story to focus on something other than our main character's decision. She continues, so often these type of stories focus on the debate over whether or not to stay pregnant, when in reality, sometimes not a debate at all. We wanted to make sure our story highlighted that. That's right. Someone who is uh, of means, uh, smart, uh, she didn't even have to debate terminating it. I mean, she had an Ivy League school to go to. It's not, I mean, come on. Um, you know, in a separate question about the tone of the novel, Hendricks explains that the book's purpose is to promote abortion. Quote, we really believe humor is one of the best ways to make a subject less scary. Hopefully by the end of the book, the reader is less nervous about the topic and can see that getting an abortion isn't something that needs to be clouded in shame. Well, look, again, it is my opinion that obviously this movie should be able to exist. Uh, we know that the author of the book and the producer of the film have a certain political message in mind. Um, I will never be pro terminating any life. Um, but it's also not my position to say what somebody else should or shouldn't do with their life as they are the ones that must live with it. I'm not sure I would celebrate it and talk about how amazing it is. Um, but you know, that's the thing, uh, you know, considering the rates, I don't, I don't want to go down the list. There are some. This is a tough topic because it gets pretty serious pretty quick um, and for good reason. But for me, uh, obviously, it's not a film for me. Uh, it's not a film for a lot of people, as the like-to-dislike ratio would say. Um, but you never know what someone's personal situation is, and ultimately they're the ones that are going to have to live with it. I don't know if I would write articles saying, hooray, either way. Journals are the worst. I think we can all hopefully agree on that. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.